tonight, you may not know the man in our next story, but Clifton Brown could be on the brink of stardom in a sport that's hugely popular across the ocean. It's an especially demanding form of kickboxing. But as video journalist Debbie Leto Kwan will show you, Brown sees it as the path to inner peace. <laughs> The sport itself is a martial art that deals with punches, kicks, knees, and elbows. It's a spectacle to watch. It's very entertaining, and it's a beautiful art when it's performed properly. Clifton Brown is a martial arts fighter, but to him, Muay Thai is more than a way to make money. It's a way to live, a philosophy that has taken him from a difficult childhood to success both in and out of the ring. More than it just being a calming influence on my life, it, it really gave me direction. It taught me to be completely self-sufficient. And the ability to, to have faith in yourself that if you really want something, you can go ahead and get it. The 31-year-old credits his martial arts master for teaching him to find his inner strength and peace. In the last 11 years, not only teaching him uh, Thai boxing, how to be a better person, but I have to help them because they came from a very poor family. It's really like my, one of my kids, my, my son, yeah. Now, Alex Clifton's Muay Thai training will culminate next month when he competes for the Super Light Heavyweight Championship in Bamberg, Germany. Clifton, in my opinion, um, in his weight class, he's probably at the top. And this fight, I think, is, I think, uh, this may be his last big run to have a, a number of serious fights and, and achieve what he has to achieve. And I definitely want to, to be the first from North America, the first from Canada to achieve it and bring it home. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity. Although he's at his peak as a kickboxer, Brown is looking beyond his life in the ring. He hopes to finish his university degree and become a teacher. It's a long road, but just through this experience of being a fighter, it's taught me that, yeah, if I, if I have the desire, I can definitely achieve it. And I have the patience and now the fortitude to make it happen. Debbie Lytle Kwan, CBC News, Toronto. Natasha's with me now to talk about the forecast, but what a contrast this guy is to see him kick that thing and then I so soft-spoken. That's what I was just thinking. He, you, the discipline that he learned in the kickboxing, you can see when he speaks, he comes across he really just, can. Yeah, so calm. Here's the calm weather forecast. Okay, it wasn't calm last night, we have to say. No.